If you like your SRAM one by drivetrains, you've got this guy to thank for it. I'm here with Chris from SRAM and he's just going to tell us a bit more about the Eagle ecosystem. We came out with our first XX1 one by drivetrain a um, little over six years ago now. So it's been, uh, I wouldn't say it's really a long road, but quite a while that we've been really focused on building one by specific drivetrains and it's, it's done really well for us. And I remember you saying earlier that at the time it was seemed as a bit of a, a risk to do it. Yeah, I think if you go back six years and you look at what we were asking people to do to adopt XX1, it's this crazy gigantic cassette, it's 11 speed, it's a chain ring with no chain guide, it's a special hub. There was a lot of things that were a little bit outlandish at the time. Today they don't seem so because we're used to seeing one by drivetrains, um, but at the time it was really risky and I think uh, a bit controversial, but it was the right product at the right time for what riders wanted on their bike. They wanted less complexity and less stuff and I think it was just in a real sweet spot. And then Eagle is the evolution of our original one by idea. Like take one by and make it better in every possible way we can. Yeah, and obviously Eagle is the top tier group set, but now you offer it in kind of three other lower tiers. Yeah, so we have Eagle technology available in all of our drivetrains now. It's available in XX1, X01, uh, GX and NX, so four different price points that you can get Eagle technology, and all those groups can be mixed and matched however you want. If you wanted to use a gold XX1 chain on an NX Eagle group, they're all cross compatible. So you can really customize that whole ecosystem to build the bike however you want, whether it's price point or a certain look that you're after. And I mean, do you think now that one by drivetrains are kind of driving bike design as well, kind of how, how designers are making their bikes is driven by one by drivetrains? I don't think it's driving bike design, but I think it gives the designers and the engineers more freedom um, to progress the geometry of bikes. Um, certainly a front derailleur is a huge limitation to bike design. If you look at the, the specs required to put a front derailleur on a bike, it's not just the derailleur itself or the chain rings, but it's also the cable routing and a lot of other things. So one bike gives them a lot more freedom to design bikes the way they want, of course. So we think of Eagle as a, a collection of a bunch of technologies, whether it's the, the cassette range or the chain ring technology or the derailleur design. And we've now added Dub, which is an oversized uh, spindle and a more durable BB to all of our Eagle products. So you can get uh, pretty much any Eagle crank we offer with Dub and it will eventually replace all of our other 24 and 30 millimeter cranks. So Dub is our now single standard for all BB spindles on our mountain bike cranks. So obviously one by drivetrains aren't new anymore, lots of other brands are doing it. What makes Eagle different? Well, I think Eagle's different because we've had six years of working on producing these drivetrains and having them in the field and, and learning and working with our pro racers. We have a lot of experience on one by only drivetrains. And it's something that there's a lot of little things that you learn with time, um, whether it's amount of time in the field or talking to people that buy and ride the system and what they like and what they don't like. So it's given us a long time to really build a strong foundation and make it better and better each year. Speaking about the future vehicle, yeah. we've seen some things you might not be able to tell me about them, but you know what's coming next. Well, I could. Um, well, I was just watching the World Cup before you guys got here, and you know I don't think it's any secret that you know we're working on a lot of different things. And um, you know, like I said, our goal is really to try to make the bike ride better. And if we can do that, I think people will have more fun riding, which is really the ultimate goal. Um, there's a lot of different things that we're working on. We're not done. We're not finished developing new stuff. And so. You know, I think there's there's a lot of ways to advance where drivetrains and where bikes are today, and, and that will be our goal, is simply to make bikes better, and that can be done with a, a lot of different technologies. So definitely I'd say there's more to come in the future. It's not, it's not finished by any stretch. Something that's been around for a long time that no one else really does, but you guys are going to stick with it, is grip shift. Yeah. So, you know, SRAM was essentially started with a, with a, a product called grip shift, and it's what built the foundation of SRAM and allowed us to grow in so many areas. Um, the reality is that there's still a really dedicated crew of people that prefer grip shift over triggers, and that's totally okay. I don't believe in telling people that one is better than the other. We offer the option of both and let people choose. And I think that when we didn't have it, when we first launched 10-speed, because triggers were cool, like we had a surprising number of people that said, you have to have grip shift. I want grip shift. And so we brought it back. Uh, with 11 speed and, and it's been stable and successful ever since. It may not be for everybody, but we, we do offer that choice. And I think it's great that people continue to prefer the ergonomics of how grip shift works. Some people prefer triggers, also fine. Um, just having the choice is kind of more important to us than which one's cooler than the other one. Do you have grip shift? 
I do have grip shift, yeah. And also you see some of our new RockShox remotes um, are operated with, with twist mechanisms. So it's really sensible from a purely ergonomic standpoint. And it makes a nice clean looking cockpit. But yeah, I use grip shift on several bikes. Very nice. Cheers.